Haku. <laughs> Are you giving me zombie arms? Hello, zombie arms. <laughs> Are you wearing your Valentine shirt? At least the rest of February? You were just smiling for me. Mm. Oh, you will not smile once I turn this thing on. Ah, zombie arms. <laughs> nice jeans, bro. Too long, not wide enough. Story of mom's life. <laughs> visiting grandpa. Or I should say grandpa's visiting us. <laughs> Man, he will never sit like that with me. He won't. No. If he's that close to me, he thinks it's time to eat. I'm gonna book my nose. <laughs> he's gonna go to sleep. Give me one finger. Okay, I'm gonna put it out. I'm gonna book my nose. Come on, give me one finger. We get to see Diego nose. too. We haven't seen him in forever. <laughs> Look, smile every time. Not crazy smile. <laughs> 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 you guys are crazy. <laughs> Coffee. So can you use your legs yet? What about your hands? I see you playing with your hands all the time. Huh? Learn how to use your head head unit right there. Yeah? Is it wobbly still? Seems like it's still wobbly. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like your back's not working right either. No. Seems like it's all over the place. Is it? Is your facial expressions okay? Do those seem to be working fine? Smile at him. <laughs> this is a phone. I'm holding a phone. And I'm recording you so that way you can see this in the future. <laughs> Not that you understand right now, because you're trying to use your head, and your back, and your arms, and everything else, all your other limbs. You are just staring right into this camera right now. Or you were. <laughs> you were just still staring into it. Oh. <laughs> Does your head unit not work properly? No. Yes? <laughs> You can shake your head up and down for yes and left to right if you know what left to right was. Or a matter of fact, even up and down. I love this shirt. I'm going to be so sad when he outgrows it. <laughs> what are you doing, little boy? Huh? <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go, little guy. Cat? <laughs> Are you, were you looking at the kitty cat? Are you looking at the TV now? He's like, put on day nine. Yeah, put on day nine. We can watch the fun day Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You just nodding your head up and down? 
Can't use everything yet? Yeah, there's something going on outside, isn't there? There's some construction going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You try to smiles. You try to do the smiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go, little boy. <laughs> yeah. Boop, boop. Neck, head, not working. Just continue to stare at camera. What is this? Oh. Mirk? Mirk, are you there? Mirk? Hello? I'm gonna run out of film. I mean, battery. I mean, space. Yeah. Good morning, YouTube. I don't know what today is, <laughs> but oh, we are slacking on vlogging. We are not doing so good. <laughs> you know, was, he's watching himself. Um, well, a lot has been going on this last two weeks. Um, I woke up on Tuesday, a week and a half ago, last week, I'm not sure right now, <laughs> it's too early, and I had a phone call from my manager saying that we had a really, we had a pretty good snow, snow day, and he said he didn't want me to drive in just to have to come back home, and I was like, what? And they said that they no longer need me in my position at work. So that was quite unexpected. I am unexpectedly a stay-at-home mom, which I love, or which I've always wanted to do, but um, this is definitely not planned. Not in our plan, anyways. And <clears throat> um, we weren't financially set up for that quite yet. So, that is uh, the surprise of the month, <laughs> and we are trying to work through that right now. Buggy and I just woke up. Oh my goob. Oh my goob. He's so handsome. He's so handsome, you guys. We could have slept another hour, but he said, you know what? No. We're not going to do that today. We're going to get a jump start on this day. We are, um, I don't know how much we've talked about it, but we are currently in the pursuit of finding, um, our first home, but not, not like a house house. We're looking for a stepping stone home, like a maintained condo or something we can use as a rental property later because the townhouse that we have lived in since we've known each other, um, is owned by one of our good friends and... He is actually needing to sell it as soon as possible, and we just do not qualify for the amount. It's just too high for us right now, especially with me not working all of a sudden. So, although it's really heartbreaking for me because I love our townhouse and all the memories we have in it, we have to go, and we have to find something smaller. Um, we don't really use the bottom half of our townhouse right now. We mostly use it for storage. Uh, because we're just a little family of three, so we're gonna look for something about half the size um, and try and save up a bit more money and get out of debt. Um, we've been working super hard since we met to pull out of debt, and we are very close, so we're really excited about that. Uh, but, anyways, we are gonna go look at a 
very good potential condo for us that's right in our price range and really nice so we're really excited um mark is making some breakfast i think it's small bacon which is the best way to wake up and i don't know how much longer this game's gonna lay here before he demands demand service <laughs> so, say good morning baby oh, cat needs to get fed fed to alligators what oh oh excuse you <laughs> yeah 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 is that you who's that cute guy who's that cute guy <laughs> hey guys uh so i didn't get to take you with me or show you guys the place we're looking at because um, it happens so fast. You park and you're right on time, so you're trying to figure out where you're allowed to park and which unit it is and am I in the right side of town and is that our realtor's car and all that. <laughs> so I didn't get to record, or I didn't make it a priority to record, I should say. But anyways, so here's the thing. That unit is decently priced. It's a little high, we would probably not offer or we would probably not, yeah, we probably won't offer what they're asking, maybe five under, um, because they kind of DIY'd everything themselves. So it's newly remodeled, but remodeled by people who don't necessarily know how to remodel. Now, they did, it looks nice, but there's just little things everywhere that you see where you're like, a professional would have done that. And most of it's not things we could fix, like hardwood corners. I mean, we'd have to recut those hardwood corners. Uh, so other than that, I mean, it has nice paint, it has, um, Wayne's coating, which I like that kind of cottagey kind of look. It's modern, but cottagey, if that makes sense at all. Um, <laughs> it has crown molding and it has a nice jetted tub and, um, you know, closet systems and stuff like that. So it's really nice as far as that goes, but it's very small. If you're not familiar with the Alaska real estate market right now it's actually cheaper to buy than it is to rent at all for something that would cost me to my mortgage like 700 in a decent part of town would cost me like 1400 to rent on a nice side of town and we're talking about two bedroom condos maybe with a garage or not it's getting really high now it's not that high compared to like New York or you know, all these places where people are like, I rent a studio on the 76th story for two grand a month. Yes, I understand you live in New York and you spend a lot of money because you like it there. Well, I like it here in Alaska and there's a lot of space here. So there shouldn't be that, it shouldn't be that steep unless you move out to Styx, Alaska and, and then you can get a mansion and, and have to drive five hours to work every day and I'm not interested in that is my husband so everyone that's their first thing is like just move out to you know Wasilla or move out to Palmer and you can get a big house I'm like why well, don't need a big house if my family doesn't even live in the same city because they're not gonna come see me I don't know if we're gonna make a move on this property or not my reservation is I don't like the area of town that is I don't like it. I don't. I grew up in South Anchorage. I don't want to live in East Anchorage and this unit is in East Anchorage. It's also part of a very large condominium project and so there's five or six towers of these condos and you know they're all the same color and everything so you know it took us a couple minutes to find it once we were in the condo area and I don't want to do that game every time I have company come over. Oh yes, come to the East wing and we're the lower unit on the left hand side but there's no number on the door I, I don't want to explain that every time I want to well, as I said previously our friend is our landlord currently so I made sure the house is really clean and all staged up and um, now we're just going to come visit my family for a little bit while they look at it and that's that um, Mark is actually taking me to sushi tonight and I love sushi I love sushi and you know 
Um, well, you guys don't know. We haven't had time to go over our diet and our lifestyle, but we are low carb people. Very, very low carb. We all see um, low carbers. We usually do not eat rice or crackers or bread or all that. And we'll go through that in another video. Um, and we have just had an off month. We did not want to deal with that this month. We were trying to see if the low carb diet was the reason why I was struggling with my supply for feeding V. And um, I don't know if that was the difference or not. It's a little better, but it's not great. So I don't think that eating a bunch of carbs and feeling gross and gaining about 10 or 15 pounds is helping. I really don't think it's helping. So we're gonna go back on and I'm gonna try some herbal supplements and some things that are suggested by a bunch of my female friends. So, but before we go back on, I made Mark promise me that he would get me sushi, that he would take me out for sushi because I love, I love sushi. Our first date was sushi. I, I love, I love sushi. I ate sushi while I was pregnant. My child is just fine. I know everyone has a heart attack about that business, but I didn't drink wine. I wanted to, but I didn't drink wine, but I had my sushi and he was just fine. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's, Mark's taking me out. He's taking me to my favorite sushi place, which, which is called The Dish. But all the Asian people that I know, they don't like The Dish. They don't, they, the Asian people own it. And when I go there, there seems to be a lot of Asian people there. But all the Asian people that I personally know are like, The Dish? Oh, it didn't work, didn't work. And my husband in particular, he likes samurai sushi, which is, Probably because it's by his work and he's lazy, but no, we've driven all the way. He works across town. We've driven all the way to Samurai Sushi just to have it for him. Because when we are uh, back on our diet, we do still get sashimi. We don't eat rice with it, but we still do get sashimi. So I can have that anytime and that's delicious and great. But right now, I just want good old fashioned white people roll. <laughs> hey guys, um, it's me, Mark. <laughs> Obviously who, obviously, who else could it be? <laughs> um, it's, I think it's March 11th. It's, uh, that should be a Tuesday. <laughs> um, and it's right around 1, 109 to be exact, what it says in the car, in the S2. Um, I have finally sold my bike. I know um, it's been a while since I've updated you guys whether it was actually sold or not. It was not. The guy uh, flaked out. Um, I ended up dropping the price to several more and... I ended up breaking a side mirror off of it, and it was just a headache, man. Just a headache. It's just super headache. Like, I can't tell you how stressed I've been about this, just because the insurance payments, like, they, they had to take it off winter storage, and it, ugh. Anyway, so I just finally sold it. Super ecstatic. Thank the Lord, you know, he, he's, he's blessing us with getting rid of this, getting rid of the bike. Um... And as you guys know, Rosanna lost her job, but uh, if she didn't tell you, we got a nice fat, uh, fat tax return. So, you know, Lord's just been blessing us one after the other. It's been the tax return, now it's the bike, and now we're looking at a house. And so, um, we pray that, you know, if it's the Lord's will, that we end up getting that house. And so, yeah. Um, other than that, I just got work later today, which should be fun, because I don't like going to work. Because I'm lazy. I would rather sit at home and do Mark stuff like Mark stuff like YouTube. And I, I just watch YouTube so much at work. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so yeah. Um, got to go get ready for work. Got my check for, for selling the bike. And got to go drop that off at the bank now. So yeah. Um, I'm just like, it's just been so much off my chest. It's ridiculous. I, I am so so happy that it's finally gone don't have to make those payments don't have to make the insurance payments i'm just happy it's it's really a blessing um i don't know if any of you guys uh, dabble in forex the foreign exchange uh trading uh currency trading um i've opened up a demo I, i've played with this in the past and i really wasn't sure but i've started playing with it again um it's, the demo account starts you off with like fifty thousand dollars and I've been able to boost it up to about 53,000, uh, yeah, 53,000 right at the moment, and, you know, it's, it's interesting, it's, it's really, seems really difficult to get into, and thankfully, um, uh, I haven't mentioned him, but, uh, Zoo, uh, one of, 
my old old friends. Um, he's been kind of he he's been doing that for a long time, and so he's been kind of guiding me and helping me with it um, a lot more. So uh, um, I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually throw any money at this and actually. Um, see if I can swing it. You know, if, if I do, it'd probably be a fifty to hundred dollars at first, and see what I can make of it, and see where it goes. So, I've been kind of playing with that. Other than that, just slowly do my Cisco trading um, or Cisco training, and uh, I've been starting to read the Bible. I've never read the Bible front to back before, um, so I've just started to read it. You know, learn uh, the teachings of the Lord and. Um, yeah, so, um, Sean, Sean recommended me, uh, uh, to start in Proverbs, just for the, uh, heck of it, I guess. And can't really remember why he suggested Proverbs, but, just started reading Proverbs, uh, um, we were also able to finally make it to church two weeks ago. <laughs> Not last week, but two weeks ago. <laughs> That's a plus, so it's, it's been a while, um, Vincent was good during church, which was great. Um, he had uh, one fussy period where he wanted to eat, so Rosanna took him out and, and into the um, breastfeeding place or whatever, where the room is, and she did her thing. And yeah, it was it was good. It was good. He he didn't fuss. He was good, and nice and quiet in church for the most part, except for that one fussy incident. So we're gonna try to go hopefully this Sunday, right? <laughs> That's the plan. So uh, yeah, just wanted to update you guys, uh, let you guys know what's going on in uh, Markland. So. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.